Hey, what's up? Gaming addicts. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Welcome back, everybody who's back. Hey, all new people. How's it going? Man, I can't wait till I get my stuff set up, man. This is so uncomfortable. Um, so it looks like Kelster, you know what I mean? Uh, looks like he finally turned himself in after all the dirt he's done done all these years, huh? Uh, it's about time, man. You know, we should have turned him in a long time ago. Our community, we, we let the world down by keeping him on the streets, man, because we knew. We knew that them families was pawning off their little kids, man, to that man. They've been doing it for years. It all, I mean, even all the way back with Aaliyah, she was pawned off too, you know. Um, yeah, so it's about time. It's about time, man, that, uh, that that man, you know, gets some sort of justice. He'll never get what he deserves, though. Um, I think they was talking about seven years or something like that. Um, I don't know if it's seven years per charge or just seven years for all of the cases. There's four women. One of them was an adult at the time. They're calling that assault. I don't really know what that means. The others were minors, like 13 years old. Like, it's it's funny. Like, this kind of reminds me of OJ a little bit, man. Right? Because you knew OJ did it. Like, whatever you want to say. Like, you knew OJ killed that girl, man, and that dude. Like, killed them both, man. Slaughtered their asses. Like, we know that. We knew it at the time, too. Um... We knew he was going to jail. He didn't, right? But the universe was like, man, you done lost your mind, bro. So we're going to get you on this petty shit. Same thing kind of happened with Kells, right? Like, Kelster. Like, this man, uh, he beat he beat the 2008 with the pen. He beat Aaliyah. He beat all other, you know, little things. He came out with a 15-minute song talking crazy. Uh, and And in the end, it comes down. <laughs> It don't come down to no, you know, uh, cell phone recording leaked. It don't come down to no, uh, no audio. It it comes down to a VHS tape from 1999, man. A VHS tape from 1999. Whew. Jesus. That's what he gets, man. So whoever found that tape, whoever turned that tape in, man, shout out to you for ending that cycle. Shame on all y'all's families because y'all now got to relive this stuff. Y'all got to go through this again. You know, like y'all probably thought that y'all's little dirty deeds of selling off y'all's kids wasn't never going to come back out. And hopefully, hopefully we talk about that too. You know, hopefully it's not just all about R. Kelly, you know, R. Kelster, the molester. Hopefully it's not just all about him. Hopefully, hopefully this starts, hopefully a flashlight is shined on our community, man, because we need to wake up because this happens all the time. Just because he's famous and, you know, it's blowing up or whatever doesn't mean that, like, this is an isolated incident. Like, he, he's just famous, but there's plenty of people in the hoods who got money. There's plenty of 25-year-olds who got stacks who want them 15-year-olds, and there's plenty of people out there who selling their kids, kids, man, to the highest bidder, man. And that's just how it is, you know, just because they get groceries or because they give them a little bit of spending money or because they pay some bills or something like that. Like, they pawning their they they babies off, man. It's something that happens in the hoods. We know it. We know it. So hopefully it just raises awareness, man. Hopefully, hopefully just the uh, uh, the spotlight isn't going to be on the victims and hopefully isn't going to be on the aggressor, man. Hopefully it's on our community as a whole, man, because, because we're going to have to start asking ourselves some tough questions about the future of our community, man, and where we want to go and where do we want to be because, I mean, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but it doesn't look like we're in a good position. So um, it's, it's cool that, you know, he's going to get what he deserves. You know, I'm, I'm proud of that whatever the case may be because he's just been <laughs> i mean you just can't be going around foul like that that's another life lesson actually man like you could do all the good you want but it's coming back man i mean all the good all the bad you could do all the bad you want man but the good is going it's going to even out man like you just can't go through life doing things like that acting like that being like that and it not and it not come back on you and if you get away with it in this life, you know, and you live your life, you know, good and, and 
and all of that as far as like you don't pay the consequences for your actions well you're gonna pay for it in the next man you ain't gonna get away with it it ain't just gonna stay away you just ain't gonna get away scot-free like there has to be a yin to the yang man like there just has to be so uh, it's good that we're seeing a, a little bit of the yang happening for this guy man because he he needs the shit he needs to stop having sex with these little kids man and if you got to go to jail for it then so be it He's only gonna go to jail for a few years, and he's gonna have, he's gonna still mess with little kids when he gets out. Like, that's just the way that it is. Like, he ain't gonna stop. When do they ever stop? You know what I mean? He's no different. So, more importantly, out of this, I just hope it raises community awareness. I mean, it's not going to because he's been doing it for years. We've been letting him get away with it for years. So obviously, we don't care. Um, we can act like we do, we can say that we do, we can all of this stuff, but at the end of the day, like if you've since, since as far as I'm concerned, since he showed up on that damn stage with Donnie Simpson wearing that green jumpsuit with Aaliyah, and we knew that he married that girl, man, he was like 27 at the time, we knew he married her and we knew she was 15, so if you have fucked with R. Kelly since then 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 you just accepted the madness i mean i knew something was crazy back then so i don't know man i don't know um just let me know what y'all think man let me know if um how much time you think he's gonna get let me know if you know if the uh if the jail sentences are concurrent as far as like the time like the seven years if it's seven years per charge or for seven years overall let me know about that because i don't know if you know anything about the uh, adult, the one adult in this case, let me know about that too. Um, also, um, yeah, I, I don't understand the adult thing. I, that seems I don't know. They called it an assault, so I don't I don't really know. I I, I can't figure that out. Um, uh, what else, man? Um, yeah, that's just it's crazy, man. That you just. Like I said, man, there's a tape from 1999 that got him, like, 20 years, VHS. Like, did somebody find it in an old abandoned house? Like, was there just a VHS tape just laying somewhere? Somebody just happened to have a VCR? Like, yeah. Was it, like, titled, like, me having sex with minors? Like, like was it, was it maybe one of these females had it the whole time? You know what I mean? And... They just, for whatever reason, decided to come out like, like, what is the source? How, how did the tape get discovered? If anybody knows that, I'd like to know that also, because we're talking about VHS, man. Like, it's not like today with just like a, a you find a cell phone or maybe even a DVD. You know what I'm saying? Like this man got this man went down because of a, of a VHS tape and we already tried to get him on a VHS tape and it didn't work. So. It's crazy to me. So just let me let me know what information you have on that also, because that's it's interesting to me. It, it's it, it's just so crazy how the universe just made this shit happen. Um, golly, man, it's crazy. So yeah, man, I a lot of questions. Um, I, I definitely am interested to hear what all y'all got to say. Man, the Yang got him. About time. Hopefully, he, hopefully it's, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, when he's sitting in this jail cell, I just wonder what he's thinking, what he's going to be, what he's thinking right now. He's in jail right now. Like, what's he thinking? Like, was it worth it? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, yeah, just let me know what y'all think, man, about Kelster. You know, Kelster finally, you know, finally getting arrested <laughs> after all after all of the effort and trying, man, finally finally got arrested man for something old let me know how crazy do you think it is that like it was that that got him it wasn't anything from today that got him it wasn't any evidence from today that got him it wasn't any words or any any testimonies or any anything that got him any of the facts any of the truth that came out didn't get him it was another VHS tape, and this one's 40 minutes long, 40 minutes, and they said that the audio and the video is banging, which is why they got him. So, man, just let me know what y'all think about all of this, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, y'all.